Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Pops. You're watching Hale Daily Food Porn. Yeah, today is uh, 316, the day of John. We're uh, prepping for tomorrow. This is a, a corned beef brisket soaking in salt water. Got the little packet in here for, uh, for uh, uh, seasoning for corned beef and cabbage. What we're going to do, cut this thing open, drain it all out, and cut this package out away from there. And I'm going to soak this, soak this brisket in just flat water, just plain old water. Um, there's the pickling spice uh, seasonings. But being in salt water, I want, I want the salt water to, to not be as strong and pungent. So it's a pretty nice looking, pretty nice looking flat, brisket flat. We'll, sit, we'll set it over here in a big old pot full of just plain old water. Leave it sit there for, oh, 45 minutes or an hour or something like that. Then I'll change the water to get more of that salt out. And on the second one, I'm going to add some Sprite to it because the carbonation helps pull more of that salt out. Uh, if you've ever had a really salty, really salty brisket or really salty uh, corned beef, it's because it's soaked in salt water. Cured in salt water, I guess, kind of cured. But when you buy them at the grocery, package it up like that in the in the vacuum seal bag. They uh, they they brine it in that bag, so it adds to the flavor, adds more moisture, something like that. So um, that's what we're doing. We're going to start this. I will come back. When, yeah, when I do this, the second, the second pot of water with the sprite in it, I'll pull that pot up here so you can see it in this camera. Uh, just exactly what I mean when you add the sprite to it, fizzes up pretty good. The the salt really reacts with the carbonation. So that being said, this is going to be a really short take here, and uh, I'll come back show you more a little bit later with show you a little bit more of the of the of the actual prep to it because this is going to go uh, on the smoker on Saturday uh, today's Wednesday it's going to have some time to sit and brine it and sit and cure a little bit with, with the seasonings I put on it might be using this might be using this with some other stuff might not be using this we'll get that part figured out a little bit later Thanks for stopping in. Continue to watch. It's going to be a great day. All right, we're back. I have brisket and just plain old water. Let's turn this camera just a little bit. There we go. Plain old water. You see the, the schmutz on top of there and the nice pink color. Uh, all that schmutz that's floating in there, it's caused by the salt. Uh, so we're going to roll this thing over like that, but dump that water out because we don't want that salt water in there. You can see it starting to look a little bit better. A little bit better. You take that late in the bottom of that pot like that and uh, go fast and sprite. We've had this for a little while and it's still fizzy so you dump this over the top like that you can hear it fizzing up there we go the carbonation helps, helps get that salt out
and the sugars will, will help with the seasoning too. So roll that around in there a little bit. Flip her over a couple times. Still fizzing up some. We're gonna let this sit for an hour. I think it's already got the, the film on top from the salts. So um, we're gonna let this sit in the sink for about an hour or so. And we'll come back to come back to some seasoning on it for some I'll wrap it in plastic wrap. Let it sit in the fridge for a couple of days that way. Let that let them flavors really get in there before we throw it in the smoker. Alrighty, it's been a couple of hours now. We got the brisket soaking in the in that sprite solution. We've got a lot of goo on top of that water, or on top of that sprite, on top of the liquid there. But see how it's starting to loosen all this stuff up. So we want to go ahead and take that, take the loose stuff off of here. Because we don't really want a whole lot of fat on there. I'll explain to you about fat, right? Not the best knife for doing this. off the back, at least half of it, half of the thickness, we want a quarter inch or so, because it needs a little bit, but not that much. That's how they're selling weight, but just a little trimming, just a little trimming to do. See, my neighbor built a monstrosity of a big building in his backyard, calls it a shed. Um, it's quite large, 16 feet tall. Probably every bit of 14 or 16 feet wide and deep. I don't know. I just don't know. Don't understand it sometimes. But. Big lump of fat off of there. Yeah, big lump. Notice the cool cutting board. Link in the description, you can find those things. Uh, my daughter-in-law makes these for me. So, I'm gonna take a quick towel and blot this very gently. And wipe off all the, all the excess on here. I don't think my daughter-in-law makes those things for me. And, and my oldest boy, he does pretty good. And we'll throw that in there for right now. Mustard, yellow mustard. Yellow mustard as a binder. So, on there like that. We'll rub it in. This is, this is the binder for, for the other seasonings that we're going to put on here. It helps stick to and get that other seasonings melted in, into the meat. Okay. Uh, Chef Pat. Good, good buddies is started a couple of these. I'm gonna rinse my gloves off here because I don't want mustard on my spice bags or spice jars, seasoning jars. Gonna be a very simple, very, very simple. I've done them with this before and really kind of liked it. Okay. Go on top of here with some pops. 
most of that is going to just roll away when we put it to the heat. So we're being kind of generous with it. Especially on that fat side. Some of the ingredients in that pops will help um, help break that fat down quite a bit. So that baby there, ready to go. Ready to go. Fat side up in a big old ziplock. Then we're gonna pull as much of the air out of there as we can. We don't want air, we want we want brine time with this with this seasoning blend on here. So we push as much of the air out as we can without doing the seal of meal thing on it. That's what we end up with. Virtually no air. There's still a little bit of air, but that's alright. Virtually no air. We can peel the gloves. Set those over there. Carefully take the bag. Rinse it off. Everybody loves, loves mustard, but everybody loves, loves pops, but we don't need it all over the place in the uh, in the refrigerator. So we're gonna wipe up as much of this as we can with the paper towels that I've used. Grab another one just just to get the, the mass of it off of there. Then we're gonna wash this thing. Y'all don't need to see me wash it, so. So we'll get all much of that mustard off of there. We'll get her cleaned up. And uh, we'll come back and, well, day or two, possibly. Um, tomorrow is St. Patty's Day. Standard day for corned beef and cabbage. We are going to Chef Pat's for corned beef and cabbage. Um, my wife can have corned beef, she can't have cabbage. Tears her up inside, so we can't have that. Can't have no misery around, yeah. So, if you like what you see, hit the like, like, follow, share, uh, subscribe on, on YouTube, subscribe on Facebook. You can find me at uh, on Patreon at Hillbilly Pops. Uh, I will be going going more live on there. I am restricted from going live on Facebook. Uh, still, it's been a month, so I don't know if they're going to ever allow me to go live again. I'll find other avenues. I really will. So, uh, this is part one of this very simple come back and see me for the next part part two happy hunting and for god's sake please eat well mm. you know frodo if you want we're back it's saturday morning I'm making bacon for the dog yeah, frodo. I got the, 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 the old boy that was his wife his brother wife is going to go with the travel party today i had to just pull out the food here with the the one that she wanted to start with. Yeah, they're just going to each other, right? Mustard covered and with pot seasoning on there. I got fat yeah, side up, going out on the smoker. It is 9 o'clock in the morning. No we'll check right back a little bit later to see exactly where we're at with it. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. Make sure, that, make sure you stop by, hit that notification bell so you know what you're suffering. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back. It is uh, 7.05. I put this baby off at 205 degrees. Um, that's what the inside looks like. Beautiful coloring. It's tender. It's yummy. Wiley the Wonder Dog is scrutinizing me. 
I've got Brussels sprouts with granulated garlic, a uh, little bit of pops, um, the Mexican cheese blend, Parmesan, and and bacon on top. Yeah, I fried up some bacon, crumble it up, throw it on top. Um, it's not quite done yet. I'll come back to you when it's done, show you what it looks like, and then we're going to feast on it. So, wasn't lying, making some good stuff tonight. Talk to you all in just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back. Got the microphone hooked up this time. It's over here now, so you can kind of hear me. Um, this is the brisket. Pulled it out at 205 degrees. It's got beautiful color. Beautiful color. It is absolutely yummy. And it pulls apart. It's got this little, little bit of a fat strip on there. YLE, the Wonder Dog approves. So, so good. Um, I promised that I would get this on here. In the oven, I have Brussels sprouts with uh, granulated garlic, a little bit of pops, some avocado oil, spray it on first. Um, Mexican cheese blend, grated cheese, um, some Parmesan. Craft, you know, um, and bacon. I took about three quarters of a pound of bacon, chopped it up, fried it, throw it on top. Uh, a little bit of the, the essential oils in there too. It's in the oven right now, 400 degrees. Been there about 10 minutes. It, when it comes out, I'll come back. It's going to be sitting right here. In place of that brisket, I'll fix up a plate. For the wife and myself of the brisket and the and the Brussels sprouts. Not gonna have potatoes tonight. It's gonna be great. I'll come back to you with a better picture. All right, we're back. I have plated here those wonderful Brussels sprouts covered with cheese and bacon and garlic and yum and. Some slices, thin slices of that brisket. This is going to be wonderful. It's just outstanding. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, oh, I told you I'd hold up the, hold up the pan for you. There's the pan. Okay, cut those, uh, cut, cut those Brussels sprouts in half and lay them out. So that all the stuff you spray on them or sprinkle on them goes inside the, the grains of it inside the leaves uh, just it's just a wonderful beautiful thing I'm telling you uh, I'm gonna grab a couple of forks go set this on the table and call the wife up to have her come on up to the table we're gonna enjoy this a whole lot you know why I leave the wonder dog behind me hoping that I trip and fall and spill this stuff on the floor it's not gonna happen though so Come on over to, if you're watching this on YouTube, check it out on Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, check, check it out on my YouTube channel, uh, Hillbilly Food Porn on YouTube. Uh, hit me up on, on Twitch. That's Hillbilly Pops on Twitch. I will be going live more often. The weather's starting to get nice. We got the Blackstone cleaned up. Got the smoker out there. I'm going to be putting uh, more, more pavers back there for more cooking area. Uh, the neighbor just put a huge barn in his backyard right against our fence. <sighs> It'll block some of the sun for the sunset, you know, recordings, but that's not a real happy thing either. So, um, there will be more, more live on Twitch. Go, go see my, uh, my, I'm on the Discord, uh, and, uh, a bunch of other stuff. Social medias. Go check me out. Hillbilly Food Porn, Hillbilly Pops. Uh, look me up. Check it out. Pictures and pictures and videos and all kinds of fun stuff. Like, follow, share, subscribe. Make sure that you check out the merchandise page. Go check out some of that some of that wonderful Hillbilly merch. So, hope to see you soon. We love you. Thanks for coming in. For God's sake, please eat well.